Opposed? They're off. Poor beginning for Roy Ayer. It was a quick beginning for Grandpa's King, an indie artist with Drimmer moving up to challenge. Roy Ayer broke slowly, but he's rushing through now, and he still has his inside position, so he'll make it four across the racetrack. Batting Cage is out of there, racing in fifth from Super Zapper six. Stretch of another five. Mike DeBear is second last, and the early trailer is DeGoff. Down the back stretch they go, and it's a four-pronged duel. On the rail, Roy Ayer. On the far outside, Indy Artist. Three wide Drimmer. In the two-path, Grandpa's King. They went at it in an opening quarter that went in 23-3. and three. Super Zapper is moving up while fifth in front of Batting Cage. Then it's back to DeGoff and Mike DeBear. They leave the back stretch and move on to the far turn now. Three furlongs left to go. What was four is now three. It's Indy Artist three wide. From between them, Drimmer. Roy Ayer along the rail. Two better than Super Zapper. Then Grandpa's King. Batting Cage and Mike the Bears, they run past the 5 16 Now the first to crack is Drimmer from that three-way go, so Indy Artist and Prado have the lead. But Roy Ayer right back up on the inside to challenge. Racing up on his outside is Super Zapper off the fence and Grandpa's King. Top of the lane, 46-3 and three for an opening half mile. Roy Ayer digs deep, tries to fight on. Super Zapper over the top now to take a short lead. From the back, the Batting Cage is trying to put in a charge, but Super Zapper has the lead. Inside the 16th pole, it's Super Zapper edging clear. Indy Artist destined for second. Super Zapper the winner. By two in the end. Indy Artist second. Up third, Drimmer in front of Roy Ayer who was fourth in 126 flat. Exact to 47.80. Trifecta $30.15. Superfecta $198.70. Pick three, 7.94.20. Numbers were 6, 3, and 3. The daily double, 371.80. Eighth race next on turf at seven and a half furlongs. Scratch three and eight. It's a field of six. Win play show. Exact to trifecta. Superfecta.